Well, I love this first up because it's something that everyone is talking about, and that is those scooters that people are riding around from Tempe to Scottsdale and getting hurt on them. And of course, with me is Jonathan Negretti from Negretti & Associates talking about the law with those scooters because we understand that there's a lot that people need to know before they hop on them and even if they get hurt on them, am I right? That's right. So those scooters are fun. I don't know if you've ever been on them yourself, but uh, yes, I have. Right, they're fun. <laughs> what happens is most people don't understand what they're doing when they get on those scooters, and I don't mean Thank how to ride those scooters. Hi, I mean Teresa. they're waiving Thank their rights to legal claims to when they agree on the app to go ahead and unlock that scooter and start riding it. Yeah, there's something called the assumption of risk when you when you take something like that, a, 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 what they call a vehicle, and and go ahead and ride it you're assuming the risk. So if you hit a curb, you hit a, a pothole, and you fall off that thing and break your arm, you can't turn around and sue that scooter company for those injuries. Wow, and I like that a lot of people don't understand too is that you gotta follow the laws. I see people riding all over the streets on the sidewalks and everything, and they're thinking they can do that, but there's laws about where to ride those too, right? That's exactly right. In fact, every city has different laws. In Tempe, you may have to be on a sidewalk Whereas in Scottsdale, you could be in a, a bicycle lane. It really depends on the city. And again, people aren't educating themselves on the local laws to understand what, where they can ride these things and where they can't. I was looking at the Bird app. Bird is one of the companies that, that uh, makes these scooters. Right. And they actually call these scooters vehicles. I mean, they go 15 miles an hour. If you think about it, you're on a skateboard with a handlebar going 15 miles an hour. Yeah. You, you go full force into a pothole, you're gonna fall off that thing really quickly. And most people aren't wearing helmets either, which is really unfortunate. Yeah, so what's some of the things we need to look for when we do open up those apps? I mean, I know we should go right to the fine print, but is there something legally we should really be looking for? You know, I would love people to read the fine print, but I think you and I both agree, people are not gonna read the fine print. Here's something that I learned this morning. Most of those companies will give you a free helmet if you pay for the shipping of the helmet. They'll just offer it to you for free. Oh, wow. Take advantage of that. Scroll down and say, I want my free helmet, and click on that. You put in your credit card, they're gonna charge you whatever it is to ship it to you, and then you get your free helmet. That's, if you're gonna ride these more than once, you probably should have a helmet. That's one thing you should be aware of. The other thing is, just make sure you understand the laws of the road so that when you're riding these things, you're being careful and not running into other people or putting yourself in danger of getting hit by a car or potentially a bicyclist. Yeah, and what I like is that people can come to you if they are I'm going to say lazy of reading stuff, but you guys know all these laws and you want people to come and talk to you about it and maybe even help if they are going through problems with the scooter. Yeah, I think people can certainly lean on us to understand the language that's in all these disclaimers and waivers that you're agreeing to by clicking on the app. The biggest thing is if you get into an accident, unfortunately, there may be different insurances, your auto insurance, your homeowner's insurance, potentially the company's insurance. That's where we could be a good resource at Negrady Associates. We can look at that information, look at the particular accident, and then talk about whether there's gonna be insurance coverage that would help pay for your medical bills. Yeah, what I like too, I know you guys don't do too much outside of the uh, states of Arizona, but they have scooters in other states that you say, you know what, you can help them if there's a problem there too, if you had to come home from that, so which is really nice. Yeah, in fact, we have an office in San Diego, and we've had some scooter cases there, and then we have an office in Denver, and you'd be surprised. These things are, have exploded. They're all over the country now, and so if you get injured in one of those cities, we're happy to, to talk to you. Thanks, Jonathan. You're Thanks welcome. Thanks very much for showing up. I like that. So now I know maybe to make sure I watch what I'm doing on the scooter, and you should too.